Well, we're over here. I guess we might as well put in what we already have. 9754 works, so that is now banished to the Shadow Realm. I'm not replacing that! What's up, guys? Welcome to 12 Locks 2, uh, a sequel to the only game that I've ever seen to be made out of plasticine, or claymation, as most of us know it. Now, I'm not really sure if this one is also about Chris needing to take a huge dump, but I'm eager to find out. Oh, this is different. It's got a bunch of levels in it now. Okay, all the more game for me! Uh, Chris? Who's the arm candy? I pictured him being more of a hermit. His absurd number of locks, living with his cat. It's about the only pussy I would expect Chris to be around. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liza. Dad, do you know where my rabbit is? <laughs> You're Chris's daughter, aren't you? Okay, that, that, that's my bad. Why is the first thing to cross my mind right now the fact that maybe Chris didn't need to take a dump in the first game? It was only alluded to. He needed to get into the bathroom, and he was holding something in, but maybe that something was little butt baby Liza. I find that far more likely than Chris having ever touched a woman. No, it means it's a case for real detectives. I already have a hat like Sherlock Holmes. We need only to take a magnifying glass. See what I mean? Nobody gets laid wearing a hat like that. So not even Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Yesterday, I put it in this safe. Of course you put the magnifying glass that we need in a safe the size of a refrigerator and then secured it with a dozen padlocks. That's just great. <gasps> Why I locked the safe on all these locks? Why were you made with a plasticine body but no plasticine brain? Uh, these are the questions that we need to find out. <gasps> Okay, I, I can kind of see the father-daughter duo relationship here now, but in my defense, she was a lot taller in the main menu. Chris, I may have thought that you were banging your daughter, but I'm still gonna say you are by far the dumbest person here. <laughs> this thing has seven different padlocks on it, so we're gonna need seven keys as well as some kind of pattern and a time. Time lock, really? We also need a code, okay, and a Triforce of Balls, is that it? Oh, no, we also need a Egg Timer, okay, great, that should make a dozen. <laughs> Anything else, Chris? What have you got down here by your feet? What is this? Is it part of a key? It kind of looks like a pizza crust. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's gonna be particularly useful over here. But I do think that Chris might have trust issues. Like, if you're putting your magnifying glass behind that many locks, and your pottery behind this many flesh-melting lasers, <laughs> you should probably see a therapist. Or not have custody of children. Oh. Okay. Maybe we need a screwdriver. Would Chris be normal enough to keep some tools under the sink? Nope, nope, he keeps his ads down there. <laughs> That's even less useful than the pizza. You can shove that right up your daughter maker, Chris. Oh. Well, I don't really know why we would want the water running, but we can make it run, so I suppose we'll just be Chris's plumber in the meantime. I really don't like the fact that they use brown for the outside of all these things. I don't want to feel like I'm reaching in through a ring turd to work on this kind of stuff. There we go. You're welcome. You'll get my bill in the mail. Just make sure that it's working. Oh! Was not expecting a key to be inside the faucet. I'll take it. I do really like this art style, but the problem with everything being made out of plasticine is that sometimes you can't decipher what you're looking at. Like, what is this? As far as I can tell, it's a giant ball of Doritos, some of which are covered in Pepto-Bismol, and it's balancing on a table made of Dookie. Oh, and 
We've got ourselves another pizza slice. We probably don't want to eat it, though. It was real close to that dookie table. <laughs> Interesting. We'll come back to you. Hello, ma'am. Can I do anything to interact with you? Okay. We've got your diamond. Guessing that'll come in handy. Can I trade you a piece of pizza for it? No, no. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll come back to you too then. <laughs> Things are going well. There we go. We got another pizza piece and a code. I suppose that would be important too. <laughs> 9754. I'll probably do one full lap of the room before I start putting stuff into the safe. What exactly is this? Uh, what? Oh. Oh, I see. I don't think I've ever seen a puzzle like this before. So we need to have all of the red dots on the left, all of the green dots on the right, and I'm guessing these two white ones need to end up in the middle? That seems really complicated. Oh, I think I might actually have it. Yes! <laughs> that was really cool. It's been a long time since I've seen a brand new puzzle. I've played a lot of games, but this is interesting. So what exactly do we have in here? Our screwdriver, finally something that's useful. So if we pop you in down here, we can get rid of these screws. Open this up, and we've got a puzzle. Okay, so what exactly are my inputs here? Oh, oh, it's one of those games where you gotta connect everything without overlapping stuff. That's fairly simple, like that. Okay. So I'm both a plumber and an electrician. You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> and I got myself another key. Don't need this, do I? No, okay, that, that, that's pretty good. There's only seven keys this time. We already got two of them. Well, we're over here. I guess we might as well put in what we already have. 9754 works, so that is now banished to the shadow realm. I'm not replacing that. <laughs> I'm not responsible for your disposable keypads. And we can unlock both of those. And we have a diamond and three pizza crust thingies. Do they go down here? No. I need three somethings. They might combine to make one of those. Or do they have anything to do with this? I don't even know what this is. It looks like an egg timer, but I'm not really sure. Are you kidding me right now, Chris? You put your magnifying glass behind Fort Knox, but you keep your tomahawk and your X-Acto knife and all your other random utensils of torture just out in the open? Anybody can take them. Anybody want one, they can just look underneath them or take them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take one of everything. Sure, you never know what's gonna come in handy. Three, five, eight. Right, left, right. Oh. That egg timer might actually be a, a combination lock. Okay, remember that. We've also got some boxes down here. Uh, okay, so we don't want green, yellow, yellow, blue, but we do want yellow, green, red, blue. What does that mean? I'm enjoying the fact that they're actually giving us stuff that I've never seen before, but still really confused. Well, it took a minute, but I think I figured out what Chris wants from me. It's like colored Sudoku. So they want yellow, green, red, and blue in every single line. So we need blue and yellow here. Blue can't go here, so this would be blue and this would be yellow. And then we need red and green here. So this could be green, this could be red. No, because then this would be green. So this is green, this is red, and this is red. So then we need blue and green. So you would have to be green and you would have to be blue. And then we're missing yellow and uh, something. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, there we go, okay. 
<laughs> I really like these puzzles. I gotta say, they're very clever. They, they, they make you think a little bit. It's stuff that you've seen before, but not necessarily. I'm just surprised that there's actual innovation in a game, like, in a mobile game, of all games, like, really? And we've got another piece of slice. Jesus Christ, what are these? Chris, you have a really strange taste in art, and I would love to make fun of it, but it's honestly the most normal thing about you. And this art tells a story, so I shouldn't really complain. 1635, which is probably the time? 435? So we can use that. We've also got the dial, we've got the green key. I just don't know what this stuff is for. I, I gotta use it somewhere. <laughs> Anything interesting in here? No? Oh, maybe? Okay, it's like some kind of... Uh, medallion? No, it's a key. Alright, it works for me, but I can't get in here. What if I use a tool to get in here? No? Alright, and that's all we've got going for us. Except for the garbage, which has garbage in it. And a key! I was gonna say, I'm just gonna make a mess for as long as they let me. All right, that's quite a bit of progress. So we can get rid of you, and get rid of you, you, and then this would be 435. So I want that on, oh, uh, come on now, work with me. 435, there we go. And again, sorry about that, just order another one, I guess. This was uh, three, Five, eight. So we want three, and then five, and then eight. Is that correct? You're not giving me any feedback. Do I need to work it like an actual lock? I have tried every possible way to treat this like an actual lock, and nothing is working. And trust me, I know how these work. I sit here all day, not knowing the combination of these kind of locks, and just opening them by feel, because I've got fidgety hands and I'm easily bored. But I'm thinking this must just mean directionality. Like, if we go three, and then back five, and then forward eight. There we go. Okay, that's not how this works, Chris. <laughs> Stupid idiot. So now we have a knife, we have a hammer, and we have a ruby. This is where things start to get difficult because I don't really know what to do. Would you like a knife, little girl? No, maybe a ruby is where I should have started. <laughs> You may be in a frame of cheese whiz and mustard, but you look kind of noble. Maybe I can give you a ruby? No? I don't even know what this guy's doing. It looks like he's kneeling down in front of his fridge and talking to his two pet potatoes at 4.35 in the afternoon. <laughs> can I cut up this art? No, can I beat it down? What about this? Just kind of hanging out here. Okay, there we go. We've got uh, another crystal and a key. I don't know what's with the coins. I can't interact with those, but... Oh, and we got an emerald. Okay, so now we have three gemstones, but where would they go? Do you want one of these? Took one, I could trade you. No, again, can I beat you up with a hammer? <laughs> and we still don't know what this is. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I beat the, the Pepto Doritos and it gave me a key. <laughs> sure, why not? So, we've got you. We've got you. Oh, and we've got these. Ooh. So now, all we need is some kind of directionality? Oh. Is this... This is just guessing. This isn't actually anything that I would find, right? It's gonna be... Oh, why do you have to be like this, Chris? <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, okay, fine. I, I am just going to mumble my way through this and forget it over and... Ah! For the love of God, will you please 
just work with me. Yes, that's it. Right? That should be everything. This isn't going to be full of, like, guard dogs or, or bees. Guard dogs with bees in their mouth. I don't know. <laughs> hey. Oh, and I found a rabbit. Two for one. Well, safe is open. Oh, here rabbit is. Thank God it was a stuffed rabbit. <laughs> then now we can lock the safe again. You really need to lock the safe again, Chris? Can, can we just leave well enough alone? Even her hair looks like poop. She has to be a butt baby. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of 12 Locks 2, guys. And it's like I said, I'm really impressed with the fact that I'm seeing puzzles in this game that I've never seen before. Like, maybe I don't play that many escape room games, but if you've seen any of my channel, you know, I play quite a few of them, probably more than most people normally would. <laughs> With that being said, I would like to play more. I would like to finish this game as a series. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video. Let me know. The first episode did well. It's why I'm returning. And then maybe I'll return for a very Halloween-themed escape soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.